In previous videos, we learned that alkenes can undergo electrophilic addition reactions in which electrophiles are added across the carbon-carbon double bond. This is because the pi bonds are fairly reactive. Alkynes with two pi bonds are also reactive and follow much the same pattern as alkene reactions. Let's look at the addition of hydrogen halides to alkynes. These follow the same patterns as addition to alkenes. The difference is that if we use double the amount of hydrogen, hydrogen halide, because we have two pi bonds, we end up with slightly different products than we would with alkenes. If the alkyne we start with is a terminal alkyne, or one in which the carbon-carbon triple bond is between the first and second carbons, we end up with two halogen atoms added to the second carbon in the chain. This is called a 2,2-dihalo alkane. On the other hand, if we have an internal alkyne, or an alkyne in which the carbon-carbon triple bond is somewhere in the middle of the carbon chain, we end up with two products. This is due to the possibilities of which carbon of the triple bond gets the hydrogen or the bromine. The first product is 2 2 dibromopentane, whereas the other product would be 3,3-dibromopentane. Let's look at some other reactions involving electrophilic addition to alkynes. We've already seen how hydrogen halides can be added to alkynes, so what about adding water to alkynes? As with the water addition to alkenes, Water itself is not a strong enough electrophile and therefore involves acid-catalyzed reactions. When we did the acid-catalyzed addition of water to alkenes, we ended up with an alcohol. However, when we do an acid-catalyzed addition of water to an alkyne, we end up with a different product. This is because the alkyne has two pi bonds instead of one. The product we get is known as an enol, because it has an alkene, or carbon-carbon double bond functional group, and one of those sp2 hybrid carbons also has a hydroxyl group, so we get the ene of the name from the carbon-carbon double bond, and the ol part of the name from the alcohol. Enols will quickly rearrange to form a functional group known as a ketone, which involves a carbon-oxygen double bond. This rearrangement is called tautomerization. Thus, even though that the enol is initially formed, the equilibrium favors the ketone tautomer. And so in this addition of water to an alkyne, we usually indicate that the ketone is the primary product produced. Let's look at one more addition reaction to alkynes this one involving addition of hydrogen to alkynes. This reaction is sometimes known as hydrogenation. In this reaction, hydrogen gas is added to alkynes in the presence of a platinum or palladium catalyst. As long as sufficient hydrogen is present, this reaction can be done in two steps. In the first, two atoms of hydrogen are added across the sp hybrid carbon atoms to form an alkene. With the extra hydrogen, the alkene can then react with the additional hydrogen to form an alkane. If you wanted to stop at the first step, you could use what's known as Lindler's catalyst to stop the reaction at the formation of the cis alkene. Before we leave these addition of hydrogen reactions, it's important to note that sometimes these reactions are known as reduction reactions because they increase the number of carbon-hydrogen bonds that are present in the molecule.